Hi there, this is Gina with GinasCraftingSpot.com and today I'm going to show you how I make my Glimmer Mists. Um, I just started making them. I ran out of the main one that I would always use, the, um, what is this, the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. I just reused this bottle. But I paid $6.99 for this back when they first came out and I bought three bottles of, you know, different colors, a, a, a reddish and a purple. And I just think $7 is crazy. So when I finally finished this one, I decided, oh, well, you know what? I have all the stuff. Let me just make my own, finally, because we have been moving and stuff was in storage and I wasn't able to craft. So a lot of things I hadn't, um, you know, used. So I have all my alcohol links, perfect pearls, a bunch of stuff. Um, I have everything to make the Glimmer Mist. So I decided to just do it. So what you start with is the, you need the bottles. And I have some of the mini misters, but I wanted the bigger bottles because, I don't know, you tend to go crazy. And this is a three pack I got from, here's the cover, a three pack I got from the Dollar Tree. And it's, you know, get the three bottles for a dollar. These two don't have sprayers, it's just like the lotion one, but you could still store them in here, like I have here, um, and just switch out the sprayers if you need to. Um, the quality of them, I think they're really good. I have gotten a couple that just spray a stream and it doesn't, you know, spray right, but that was only a couple out of, you know, all the ones that I bought. Um, and this is the, showing you how crazy I went. I had all the alcohol inks and stuff from years and years and years and years ago and re-inkers and I just went crazy and made all these colors in the last few days. So I wanted to show you what I found was my favorite. So first what I started with, this is my second video so I had already mixed it. So first what you do is you fill up your water bottle, your spray bottle, with just you know regular tap water, warm. You fill it up to about like right here, like not all the way to the top. Just leave some, maybe half inch, an inch from the top. And then you use your reinkers, your alcohol ink, any kind of, you know, liquid ink that you have. I, I don't know. I would think food dye might work too. I don't know. That's for another, another day. <clears throat> so, all I did was, this is Stampin' Up So Saffron, and all I did was put, you know, a bunch of little drops in there. You need to decide how light or how um, dark you want your, you know, glimmer mist to be. I myself like them really um, deep colors and bright and just not just a little bit of glimmer like for these kinds of colors. So I kind of add a little bit more. So what, maybe 10 drops depending on the color. And then when you're using just the reinker, you need perfect pearls. And these are the only colors that I have. This one I already finished, the Perfect Pearl. It was a pack that I got and I'd never used them before. So when I was doing the Glimmer Mist, I'm like, oh, let me just use what I have instead of going and buying, um, you know, more of the just regular one. So, which I am going to have to go buy some anyway. I think I love the Glimmer. But anyway. All right. So when I put the the powder in the perfect pearls I put like about maybe that much because I like it extra glittery and just put it into your jar I already did it and then mix it up and the perfect pearls already has the binder in it for the um, the you know for it to actually adhere the glimmer to your project and it won't just wipe off so that's perfect if you were to use, I'm not going to make it today, but if you have your water, add your reinker, and say, well, say I wanted to use, these are the only two Pearl X's I have. So these two colors. If I wanted to add one of these, um, Pearl X does not have a binder built in like the Perfect Pearls does. So if I were to use this with it, I would put, you know, the same put the same amount of pearlex in there with your drops 
And then an additional thing you would have to add is a binder. So I've been using the Glossy Accents. You just need a little of the glue so it could actually stick to your project, mix it all together, same thing. But with the Perfect Pearls, you save this step. So instead of these two, you just need this with your reinker and, you know, water. So that's, I prefer the Perfect Pearls, but, you know, for, for money purposes, I want to use what I have because um, obviously I haven't used it in, what, 10 years that I've had it, and I need to get it used. All right, so this one is done. So we're going to spray that in a minute. The next way to do it is you could just simply, if you don't want any glimmer, you just want the color, you could just add your, you know what, let me use this. It's a paper tray ink. It's my favorite pink. Um... Oh, Hibiscus Burst. It's a pretty, pretty, pretty pink. I love this color. So the same, I just filled up my water bottle, my spray bottle. I'm going to put some drops in here. It's blowing a bubble. And I'll shake it up, see what this looks like. And then I'm not going to add any glimmer to this one. I'm just going to leave it as color. I have the the pad, but sometimes, you know, with the flowers, you just want to spritz them and give some color to it. Or when I get more perfect pearls, maybe I'll find it on sale or, or something that I might, you know, add it to it. I don't know about the color. I might have to add more, but let me try it first. So then that's it. You just want the paint or the reinker, and you could use it also with the acrylic paint too. So if I wanted to use just this red acrylic paint and water, mix it up, same thing, you, you have your spray paint. So I used it with the reinker. So I have both of these done. Now the most favorite, favorite, favorite thing that I have um, made is the, just because it's super duper easy and really shimmery, you don't really have to work at it. The Perfect Pearls, um, you know, like they're a little pricey, so it's a Pearl X, so it's, Nice to just get this folk art metallic colored paint and they come in a bunch of different colors. So you just get this and water and you're done. It's so perfect. And let me show you one of the colors with it. This, I had a pretty green one that really, really looked nice and it was a metallic this one I think the yeah this one I actually used alcohol instead of water to make it dry faster and this one is the metallic Christmas green isn't that pretty really really shimmery didn't have to add any perfect pearls or anything so my new favorite is using the um, metallic colors so same thing I'll just get a water bottle this is a different size and fill it up with water almost or you know what for this one since it's only the one thing let me just add the paint first and see because two you have to see with certain colors you don't need as much paint as with others and i found that out so let me put some of this in here and my paints are kind of old but they still seem like they're okay so like I said, I bought this stuff like a long time ago, and not just for Glimmer Mist, but like 10 plus years ago, I used to paint, um, you know, the little figurines and stuff, the ceramic, just for fun. So I had a lot of this left over, and I make the, um, what do you call it, the Christmas uh, ornaments. I make them too, so I needed a bunch of this, so this is all stuff I found in my, you know, stash. My figure, perfect. All right, so I just have some in here. We're gonna see how it looks. It maybe barely covers the bottom of it. We'll see when I shake it up. Then you just add your water. We're gonna shake it up. Oh, where's this thing? Just gonna shake it up really well. And then I'm going to show you these colors. And again, my favorite is just the metallic paint with water is the quickest, 
easiest and it gives the most shimmer for, you know, you know, the thing of, um, what you call, paint. The paint isn't that expensive, just a couple dollars. And you have everything already added to it. So let's see how this turns out. And like I said, you might have to add more or less, depending on what, you know, the color saturation you like. And here is the, this is just my box, kind of dirty, but it works beautifully. It's just one that I got in the mail. I reused, recycled. All right, so what am I looking for? All right, so I just label my little swatches so I can then add it to that, that ring that I showed you a minute ago. So I know all the colors that I have and the recipes for them. So let's see what this looks like. Let me show you can see. And like I said, most of these bottles have worked just fine for me. Spray-wise, they don't um, give me any trouble. Most of them. I just had to switch out like maybe one or two, I think. And this has... I think I might have used the sprayer and not wiped it enough. Okay, so this is going to dry. And this is just the pearl metallic pearl white from Folk Art. Next one I'm going to try is our So Saffron one. Just switch out. This and it doesn't fit, so I just spray a little of the old color and let me get another another little swatch so you could see. This is so saffron. And with this one I think I need more more reinker. Yep, I think I need more reinker, so I'm just going to add it right now. And that's all you do, you just play around with them until you get the color you want. And there's so many different variations, because especially if you use the Perfect Pearls, whichever color Perfect Pearls you use, that's the different shade, or that's the color the metallic in it, or the pearly part, is going to be. Let's get this together. Gonna flip this one over for now. Then spray. Yeah, looks good. It's a, a light color. And then did I do another one or was that it? Oh, the pink one. Can't forget the pink one. My favorite pink. So again, you do have to shake them up a lot because it does separate in the Pearl goes on the bottom if you have pearl. Let me just switch. This is another pink I had made. Let me just switch out the nozzles just to show you. And the bubbles that are created do go down, so I don't really worry about that. Okay, almost, almost. Then, since I did have another pink in there, I'm just going to spray off a little bit. Get that color. And again, I have another swatch. Ooh, pretty. I might need a little more ink on this one, too, though. I'm thinking this looks kind of bubblegummy pink. But anyway, so here, see if I don't have a sprayer. Just put it here to hold them until I do. So I'm done with this. Let me dry it really fast. But I don't want to spill any of my liquids here. Make a mess. And this is fun. I mean, like I said, the past couple days I've just been going crazy making these colors. So fun. And like I said, it's not a lot of money because I had everything already. So... And yeah, they, the, the alcohol does make it dry quicker a little bit, but to me it's not that big a deal. Let's 
try. Okay, it'll help if my gun's plugged in. It's my heat gun. In a sec, I'll show you the pearl on this one. And be sure I don't burn the paper. It's a light color. Yeah, like I said, you just, um, with the ones that you do use, the perfect pearls and stuff like that, you would just, you know, fix it like this one is pretty it's just a hibiscus burst a light pink i don't know if you can even see um but there's no shimmer to it right now but i think i want this a little bit brighter i think i burned it right here but you know a little bit brighter so i might add a little more of the reinker to it then here is the pearl one unfortunately you can't really see it too much the metallic you can see it a little bit. So there's a metallic one, metallic white. Then here's my soul saffron, which definitely needs a few more squirts. But look at you can totally see the perfect pearls right there shining through. So, all right. Well, I just wanted to give you um, a little look at how I am making my perfect pearl, not perfect pearls, sorry, my glimmer mists. So I thank you all for watching. Bye.